In this video, we will use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side of a right triangle. In this case, we are looking the missing, for the missing sides of A or B. Take a look at the following problem. In this picture, the first thing we need to do, as before, is to label what is A, B, and C. We labeled 6 as A, the missing side as B, and 10 as C. 10 being the side opposite the 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. That must be C. However, 6 could be B or A as it is one of the two legs of a triangle, and the Pythagorean theorem does not differentiate between A and B. So we could have labeled it like this. We will now use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing sides. From our picture, we can see that we labeled A as 6. We don't have a number for B, but we do have a number for C, which is 10. So we will write the unknown as X. Using PEMDAS to reduce this, we get the following. We will now have to use some algebra to solve this. We will subtract 36 from both sides. Subtracting 36 from both sides gives us on the left x squared and on the right 64. In order to solve this, we need to take the square root of both sides, remembering that we really only want the positive value. When we take the square root of x squared, we get x. When taking the square root of 64, we get 8. Therefore, the missing side of the triangle is 8. Now you try, pause the video, and find the missing side. You have labeled the triangle either with the B side matching with the 12, or the A side matching with the 12. We're going to solve this problem as if you match the A side with the 12. However, the C side must be the 13. So we end up with 12 squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. If you had done it the other way, you would have had x squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. Because of the commutative property of addition, both will result in the same answer. Using PEMDAS, we simplify and we get 12 squared is 144, x squared is x squared, of course, and 13 squared is 169. The next thing we want to do is subtract 144 from both sides. When we do that, we get x squared equals 25. By taking the square root of both sides, we get x is equal to 5. Therefore, the missing side is 5. 